Like, I've seen some stupid shows that some kids watch, and tell, tell I you. just eye roll at it and move on from it. Peppa Pig. <laughs> yeah, no, I, no, there were things that irritated me about Peppa Pig. I remember that uh, somebody made a video about that. Like, he's kind of, like, not notorious, but he's, like, popular because of it. Oh, Cat Icarus? Cat Icarus, yeah. Um, yeah. I wonder what well, his... I love yeah, no, I wonder what uh, his thoughts were from that one robot chicken sketch. Uh, you know what's funny is that he actually would later on admit regret for that Peppa Pig thing. How so? He, because apparently, as he apparently he looks back onto it, and he just kind of felt he was getting way too angry over a children's show. Well, the whole angry review sort of like scenario kind of adds its own particular personality to it, and yeah. that's not to say that it's like. Like, I just, it's kind of natural that you do stuff like that. Um, you look back and realize, yeah, I just wasn't a big fan of it back then. Like, you can always have a change of opinion. Um, yeah. But I still found that robot chicken skit hilarious. I need to, I need to find that robot chicken skit. Oh, yeah, no. I still love that one of them was a sheep. It's like, no, pig, <laughs> that's bad. I won't, oh, my God. I won't become a part of it. You're a sheep, so you're just going to do it anyway. So come on. Okay. <laughs> and the, the one that the one skip from Robot Chicken that I always will remember is the um, the SpongeBob one. Krabby Patties are made out of crab. I think so. You you've uh, been memory. serving us to us. <laughs> because it, okay, so like in that skit, SpongeBob reveals to everybody in the Krusty Krab that. Every food that Mr. Krabs has sold is literally made out of, um, you know, a fish. Like crab, like crust, like crabby patties are made out of actual crab. Um, chicken of, those, of the sea is tuna. Chicken of the sea is tuna. Um, calama. I think one of the um, like fries is made out of squid. And then it ends. The, yeah. And the and the skit ends with SpongeBob going. I'm just glad that nothing bad ever happens to a sponge. To which it cuts to to a doctor looking at a patient going, All right, we're going to scrub you down with the sponge. Oh, yeah, you're getting a sponge bath. And SpongeBob just, yeah. I said, nothing, nothing bad ever happens. Nothing bad ever happens to a sponge. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was too loud. No, oh, you're okay. The, oh, the giraffe and the quicksand robot chickens. That's actually how I found out about the five stages of grief. Oh, geez. There we go. Okay, cool. Oh my god, they did one for Paw Patrol! Remember how, I remember how pissed Joey got when they did one on, what was it, Strong Bad? Oh, uh... And then the creators were kind of, like, upset that they didn't even contact them to possibly help out with the skit or something. Oh, uh, so I guess they just sort of did the skit on a whim without even... Yeah. <sighs> I mean, I get it, but... I don't know. <sighs> Robot chicken sketches have just kind of gotten tedious at a point. I mean, I, the entire joke you, you of You take Robot this childhood thing, make it dark. Okay. Can you show me something new? Can you do something clever with it? Yeah. Like, I think the only recent skit that I thought was actually pretty funny was, um... What was the, um... The one... Or at least it wasn't a recent one. It was, um... The one where Bat... The one where Batman basically, um... Gets tired of beating up the Joker and he's all like... Oh, yeah, and he has oh. him executed and it's like a recreation of, uh... The, the, Green, the Green Mile. Mile. The Green Mile. Yeah. Oh god! Fuck you, Dark Knight! They, they... You've heard of the Green Mile? How about the Brown One? I love that <laughs> skit. That was funny as shit. I remember seeing like they a actually got Mark that. Hamill the voice. I remember seeing like um some kind of entry on DeviantArt calling it the top ten worst, and they labeled that one as the worst. Like, you think that one was the worst? That's the worst. No, that's the best one. It was hilarious. I loved it. I loved it too. That shit know the... was hilarious. It was. You want to know? Go ahead. You want to know what was the other best one? The iCarly one. 
Oh god, no. <laughs> no. The Carly one was when they accidentally uploaded Carly talking about her, um... Her no, chest. she was topless in the shower. Yeah, and she was talking about her chest. To which, unfortunately, her, her um... father... Yeah, anyways. It. Anyways. Uh, I... Fuck Sorry, but graphic. It, the, uh, but the other skit that they did was actually that was actually pretty good was the um, Calvin and Hobbes one. Oh uh, God, the Calvin Hobbes Mars one. Is Mars is amazing. Mars is amazing. Mars is amazing. Mars is amazing. I mean, let's be real. That's probably the only time we're ever going to we're ever going to see an actual adaptation of Calvin and Hobbes, not the comic form. Yeah. I do like the I do like the Shrek one too. Where he's just like when Fiona says she wants to be with him and he goes through this whole diatribe of how he wants to kill himself daily because he hates how he looks and he feels like he's a monster and people scream at him and shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh let me find that skit. Or the and also the Rugrats one, which just literally goes, Hey, Stu and Dee Dee are terrible parents. Oh no, like Stu got abused. And yeah, the kid, like all the kids god. heard it. It's like, oh dear god, dude. I want a divorce. Yeah. Stu, also, a word. Mm. There's also the there was also a skit they did a while back where they basically did the um, the ending of uh, the 2018 version of Halloween, mm -hmm. where they they switched around where it was Mar where it was um, Harry and Marv suffering at the hands of Laurie Strode and her chill and her family trying to defeat them because they thought they were Michael Myers. Oh, where, whereas fucking poor Kevin McAllister is dealing with Michael Myers. No, I love that skit. That was pretty funny. Like all the like all the traps that are just ignited on Michael's just like it doesn't do shit. <laughs> it just shrugs it off like eh, whatever. whatever. Oh, I cannot wait for the new Halloween movie. I just want to know what is going to happen. I just can't wait until Halloween comes out in general. Yeah, same. I already told Riley of an idea I had for um, Halloween, for not Halloween, but just horror movie, I, horror movie viewing in general, where we should watch the original um, House on Haunted okay. Hill one with um, with Vincent Price, mm -hmm. and then after that, watch the 1999 remake. Well, with Liam Neeson and uh, uh, Catherine Zeta Jones, and wow. No, 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 Riley, Riley, yeah. Riley, wow. Riley, I wasn't talking, Riley, I wasn't talking about The Haunting, although that oh. is a good choice. No, you're thinking of The Haunting, the 1963 Haunting, and then the Steven Spielberg remake. <laughs> okay. No, I was thinking that the House on Haunted Hill one that I'm, like, Jeffrey Rush and, um, Allie Later, when I they go I to the... That one. I mean, I like it, but it, I won't deny it is a flawed, flawed as shit movie. It's one of those movies where you just have to turn off your brain and be like, eh, it's at least entertaining. Because I don't think Vince, cause Vincent Price wasn't in the original Haunting, although I do want to see that movie. Because I've heard so many good things about it. Vincent Price. Yes. <laughs> I'm so nasty. I mean, is that how he says it? Yeah. Sorry, I'm looking at stuff on... No, you're okay. I'm so nasty. I'm Lala Lambo. Bulbasaur. Also, people are incredibly pissed at Ticketmaster for the Blink-182 thing. Because apparently they're overpricing the tickets for their for their world tour. Who is? Uh, Ticketmaster. Oh, Ticketmaster is like awful. I I remember uh, uh who did and Illuminati did a whole thing on them and how they're like monopolistic and shit. 
Yeah, because like people are because you know, obviously people are excited for this world tour of Blink Two because they're reuniting with the with uh, Tom DeLonge. But literally, the tickets, like all the tickets, even the tickets for the floor, for like the ground floor, are expensive as shit. I think one of them went up to like a thousand dollars for the yeah, sales. Yeah, no. Yeah, um, it got so bad that Tom DeLonge and Mark Hopkins had to literally go on their social media and be like. This isn't our fault, guys. This is literally out of our control. Because so many people started accusing them of um, overpricing the tickets. But again, it's not their fault. It's fucking Ticketmaster going, let's see how we should overprice these recent sales. Or capitalize on it. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, so... How am I supposed to... You get the fuck out of here. Hang on, what's in here? What's my age again? The age where I have to decide between rent and blink when I two tickets. Ow! I was hoping to go to the Gorillas concert or the Weird Al concert, but I'm just like... They got to a point where they were like 300 bucks for like a decent seat, and I'm like, eh. Yeah, no. I try to avoid trying to see, um try to go, like, I remember trying to do that with, um, what's the one for? Death Heaven. I wanted to get tickets to see them live, um, because they were in, like, LA, like, they were in, um, California. But their tickets went up to, like, a hundred dollars just for, um, General. Which just made me go, yeah, no, I'm not fucking paying a hundred dollars just for a fucking show. Just a big, uh -huh. nope! Like, case, the only time I ever, like, the other time I did pay for tickets to go to a show was for, um... Damn, I wonder what's in here. Oh, it's a okay. Kingstone? <laughs> I was just <laughs> about to say, like, is this a Kinstone? No. Nope. Okay. Um, but anyway, the other time I went to a, uh, concert was, um, actually it was the sec the only time I've been to a concert, was, I'll say, a pouring, um, a pe um, performing in, um, at a small club in Hollywood. And... They did not overprice their tickets. They only charged thirty uh sixty three dollars. No, not sixty three dollars. Thirty six dollars. Which, considering you were gonna see three band, you're gonna see them and two other bands. That's a fucking steal. Uh, the Kinstone. And... Not gonna lie, I, I used to think about going to Warp Tour, but never went. I've been to Warp Tour. A friend of mine, like after I graduated high school, she she um she kind of messaged me and she's like. You want to go to Warp Tour? I'm like, wait, what? That's a still that's still continuing. She's like, yeah. Do you want to go with me? I went. We went for like just one day. It was actually pretty all right. I, I pretty much didn't recognize a lot of the bands that were there, but I still had fun. I think one of the bands that I did recognize was Yellow Card. They actually performed um, at the very end of their show. There's yeah, a place the on day. Ocean Avenue. When I look to see and talk with you, we were both 16 and it felt so, felt right. so right. Sleeping all day, day, staying up all <laughs> night. Right. God, that was a classic. You know, the funny thing, yeah. whenever I hear that kind of music, whether it be like Blink-182 or Green Day, and as, I, as I'm saying this, um, this was from back when I was a teenager. You know what I used to call that stuff? Well, I used to just call it college rock because they would always be played at like National Lampoon movies that took place during the college years. Eh. I mean, understandable. Especially considering that, you know, technically a lot of high, a lot of college students did listen to these type of bands growing up. Some people call that skater puck music. I'm like, so Tony Hawk? Yeah, the, it definitely had sort of a skater punk vibe, especially Blink-182 in their early days with um, their first two albums before they got big with um, Enema of the State. I'm surprised at how accepting you guys were about that. I thought it was going to get viciously argued afterward. Nah, nah, I'm not... I'm not those pretentious purists who go, No, people are not X and Y. It's like... Who fucking cares? It's music. It's cool music. It's music! How the fuck do I get there? Shit. 
Oh, I mean, yeah. it's sir. No, I'm just. I took to... van. Go ahead. No, you go. What were you saying? No, I'm just. I'm trying to figure out a way to get through that passage. Like I have to be on the other side to get there, but. Could, do you need to use the cane somehow, maybe? No, the cane will not work. If I try to get to the other side, that boulder's going to get in the way. Interesting. Ugh. Quick back restroom. Mom on ranch. Lake must fuse five kin stones with Ernie and the mysterious, the mysterious walls. Come on, take me there. Okay, so Mount Crenel, I think I went there already. Yeah, so let's see if I can try to, like, just go there first. Do -do 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 -do. Classic. Every time I think of that, I think of Super Mario uh, Brothers 3. Do -do 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 do 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 Hi, Misty. Okay, there are my headphones. Hello. Hello. Uh, why did you just say hello like I did something absolutely wrong? I'm sorry, what? You just sounded like, you just, you know, the way your voice sounded, it was like I had done something horribly long, wrong just by saying hello, and I'm like, am I in trouble? No, it was like, I was like, hi, uh, hi Misty. Like, BRB. All right. <laughs> yeah. See, my friends, this is why we communicate. Communication breakdown. It's always the same. Having a long, long take down. Driving insane. Okay. Don't maybe... wanna have a misunderstanding. Don't want to have a miscommunication. Yeah, just take me there and I'll just enter Mountain Crenel the old-fashioned way. I was already at the top of the fucking mountain and I'm like, Where the fuck do I go? Um, oh, Misty, you got a question. Oh, what? what's the question? I'm not in the chat yet. What does uh, it say? Have you watched any Gen 5 episodes so far? The only Gen 5 thing I've seen so far is the movie. I, uh, I'm not entirely sure about uh, the Gen 5 episodes. I haven't gotten back on the Netflix quite yet. The only thing I can say is Opalini's a bitch. 